Hey, good morning for his Facebook family. Pastor Jerry here. It's uh, early. Well, not for some people. But uh, anyway, I'm sitting here reading my Bible. And I uh, thought I'd share a couple of things with you guys this morning. Um, and also my ELC family and Instagram family. But I'm reading out of 1 John 5. <clears throat> and um, verse 3 says, Loving God means keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, meaning they don't cause you stress, meaning they are easy to do, meaning that they are something that you enjoy doing because you love God. Um, and then verse 4 says, For every child of God defeats the evil world. And we achieve this victory through faith. So a child of God simply means that you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior and that you take joy in following his commandments. Not every person living is a child of God. We're all creations of God, but not every person living is a child of God. Only those who obey his commandments, that's in James, only those who, who obey his commandments and call him Lord are children of God. And then it says, and we achieve this victory through our faith. Everything, well, the Bible says that without faith, we can't please God. And when we live in faith, when we walk in faith, we win in faith. And so as we, hey, Janelle, hey, Siobhan, and as we walk in faith, as, as we walk by faith and not by sight, as we make God's verses in us alive, we overcome things. We, we, we have the victory in faith and not in our own flesh. And then verse 5 says, and who can win this battle against the world? Meaning, who is able to defeat the world's thought processes, the mindsets, who can do that? And it says, only those who believe that Jesus is the Son of God. Now, the Bible says that Satan knows that also, and he, and he trembles. And it's not just believe, but it's those who believe in, trust in, obey, love, follow, hunger after him. Those are the people who have overcome the world. And Jesus said that in this world we will have trouble, but take heart, for I've overcome the world. And that means that if he's overcome it, and if we're in him, if we're in Christ, we've also overcome it. So what does that mean practically for us? No matter what you're going through today, no matter what you went through yesterday, last week, no matter what's happening with your husband, with your wife, with your kids, with your family, with your job, with your money, with the government, with, with uh, friends, with your health, you have already overcome because you are a child of God and a child of God can go to daddy and ask him whatever he wants or whatever they want. And he'll say, yes, the Bible says that, that every answer, uh, our prayers are yes. And amen. Because why? Because when we ask things in God's will, in faith, we know that we have the grace to receive it. My daughter, my son have so much peace. And asking me whatever they want to ask. They may not get it, but they'll ask it because it may not be in my will. It may be in their will, but not in my will. But when we are mature Christians, when, when, when we are children of God, we have the privilege and the blessing to ask our best friend, Jesus Christ, our Savior, ask our Heavenly Father, God, whatever we need, and he'll get it for us. And the key is not following rules, but creating relationship with him. Because rules constrict and relationship freeze. And when you're walking in freedom, when you're walking in relationship, the things you ask each other are a blessing and, and an honor to do. That's it. All right. Go have a great day. Share this like this. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Love y'all.